Virtual rate and section control is referring to the setup of an implement as though forming an application of a product. This can provide an operator with a visual indication when to turn sections on and off manually as well as recording an as applied layer of data. To set up your implement as virtual rate and section control, choose the virtual control in the application device when setting up your implement. Once virtual is selected, you are then required to enter the number of channels that are theoretically being controlled. By default, you can only control one channel unless you have installed a multi-product control license into the display. If running a multi-license control license, you can configure up to two channels on the XEN 750 display, four channels on the XEN 1050 display, and six channels on the XEN 2050 display. Enter the appropriate number of channels and press the arrow to move forward. Continue your implement setup as described in the basic implement setup tutorial until you reach the section Application Control. The Application Control page will be populated with the number of channels configured previously. You can press the Add button to add additional channels if required. Primary is referring to the channel that will be displayed by default on the run screen as the coverage layer. This is indicated by a yellow triangle in the primary column. The channel column is the default name given to that channel. This can be edited in our setup. The type of column is a graphical indication indicating the type of control system being used. This will be indicated whether it's virtual, isobus, field IQ or serial rate control. The ECU column will display the serial number of the ECU assigned to that channel. The calibration column will indicate whether or not the channel has been calibrated successfully. The setup column will give you an indication whether the channel is set up correctly or not. To set up the channel, press the spanner icon and then press modify. In the type tab, you can create a channel name that identifies it. This name will be displayed on the run screen, so it's best to keep it short. The type of control is default to virtual rate control, as this is predefined earlier. Select the material type that is going to be used in this channel. The material type will determine some of the control settings available in the following setup screens, particularly when setting up field IQ. Press the next arrow to move forward to the next page. In the material tab, you can assign the material that is going to be applied. If no material is created in the material database, you can leave this section as incompleted and assign a material at a later date. Application offset is referring to the distance to the ground contact point we entered earlier in the implement setup to where the actual point of the application itself is being applied. Application left right offset is referring to the left or right offset from the center line of the implement. Application forward back offset is referring to the distance of the hitch to ground contact point. This value is a negative value if the application point is behind the ground contact point and a positive if forward of the ground contact point for that implement. Use the next arrow to continue the setup. In the settings tab, you can choose to turn on or off rate control as well as section control. If you are wanting to record as applied data for record keeping, you will need to turn the rate control on. If you are just wanting to set up the implement as a virtual light bar of when to turn sections on and off, you can leave rate control off and just run section only. Record coverage using options are not applicable when using virtual rate control. Any of these settings will work when using virtual rate control. With section control enabled, enter the number of sections on the implement. Press the arrow to move forward to the next configuration screen. In the Width tab, you can specify the individual width of each individual section. Use the arrows left or right to move across different sections. Press the section to edit the value. Use the next arrow to move to the next configuration page when complete. Latencies are used to compensate for any system lag in section valves turning on or off. It is important to understand that the coverage mapping on the display is tied directly to the latency value. For example, if you set a latency of 5 seconds on, you will not see the coverage being painted on the display until 5 seconds after the master switch has been turned on. 
This is accounting for you telling the system that it is taking 5 seconds before the valve is open and product is applying to the ground. Apply latency to boundary is referring to the latency value being applied to the automatic switching when crossing a boundary, either the outer or inner boundary. If you are using an inner boundary to trigger automatic section control, it is important to have this turned on for accurate seed placement. Sections off when stopped will have no effect in virtual setup, but it's referring to the section motors being switched off when ground speed reaches zero. Use the next arrow to continue into the overlap control configuration. This is where we can configure intentional overlap in relation to our section switching. Start overlap is referring to the application being turned on before exiting an applied area. End overlap is referring to the distance it will stay on into a sewn area or a sprayed area before switching off. Coverage switching overlap is referring to the application overlap. This is the map layer you see visually on the display. A setting of 99% is meaning that 99% of that section needs to be within a covered area before it will turn off. If set to 1%, the section will turn off as soon as 1% of that section width is within a covered area. Boundary switching is referring to the amount of the application that needs to be over a boundary before it turns off. This set to 1% will mean that as soon as 1% of the section crosses a boundary, the section will be turned off. If you are doing a planting application and using the inner boundary to switch on and off your planter, you will want boundary switching set to 99% to ensure that the entire infill is planted. It is important to understand that boundary overlap and latencies applied to boundaries is only applicable to when the implement is passing into a boundary area. When the implement exits a boundary area, by default, no overlap or latency is applied. Press the next arrow to the summary page. Confirm the settings and either use the back arrow to edit or press the green tick to save your settings. You will now return to the application control page in the implement setup. If configured correctly, setup should indicate complete. Press the arrow to the inputs tab. In the inputs tab, when setting up virtual channels, you have the option of connecting a remote logging switch to the expansion port of the display. This can be either an implement switch or a configured relay to open and close a circuit of a master switch of the original controller. Continue to configure your implement until you get to the summaries page. If all the settings look correct, press the check mark to save the settings. Before you can enter a field and use your implement, you will need to make sure that a material is created and assigned to the appropriate channel. This will be described in the material assignment section. To use virtual rate and section control in the run screen, simply double tap to show or hide the controls. The coverage map you see on the display is represented by the primary channel that we selected earlier. If running more than one channel, you will see them displayed here. The current target rate is displayed here and the actual rate that is being recorded to the coverage layer will be displayed here. As this is virtual rate control, if you change the rate on your controller, you will also need to change the target rate on your display for accurate mapping. To do this, simply press the target rate of the channel you want to change and your screen will change to the controls panel for that particular channel. Simply use the plus and minus button to increase or decrease the target rate. The delta or difference between the target rate and the now specified rate will be displayed here. To quickly revert back to the original target rate, simply press this button. Your section status will be displayed here and simply touching one section will turn it on and off. Or driving over a covered area will give you a visual indication of when to turn them on and off. Setting to manual will mean that the sections will remain on regardless of whether you are going over a boundary or a covered area. To turn the sections on and off, you will need to touch them manually.